As we continue to study algebra, we will often come up against the question, what does x equal, or what is the solution for x that will make the equation into a true statement? Often there are not many options for this value that would make the equation 4x plus 16 to equal negative 4. Here we're going to test to see if negative 5 is the correct number. If we know x is equal to negative 5, we can replace the x with the negative 5. So we would have 4x, or 4 times negative 5, plus 16, and we want to know, does that equal negative 4? Order of operations has us multiply 4 times negative 5 to get negative 20 plus 16, and what we want to know is if that equals a negative 4. Well, sure enough, when we add those together, we get negative 4 equals negative 4, the equation works out to a true statement. We would say yes. Yes, negative 5 is the solution to this equation. If we replace the variable with negative 5, we get a true statement. Well, does that always work? Let's try x equals 3 and see if that works. Again, we're going to replace the x with 3 and see what happens. 4x, or 4 times 3, plus 16, we want to know, does that equal negative 4? Well, again, we'll follow the order of operations. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 16, and we want to know if that equals negative 4. As you can see, when we add those, we get 28, which is not equal to negative 4. We did not get a true equation when we use 3 for the value of x. This means 3 is not the solution to this equation. On problems like this, it turns out that there is only one number, whether it's a whole number, a fraction, or a decimal, that can be plugged in for x. Often in algebra, our task is to find that, but for now, we're just showing what it means to be a solution, to be the one number that you can plug into this equation for x to make it equal negative 4 to get a true equation.